and I will show you in a minute. But before I do that, I want you to listen to how much evidence there is in support of this thesis. Think about it. Is the evidence important? Because I know that when I talk to somebody, especially somebody hostile to the faith, and I mention Jesus' resurrection, the first thing I get from them is, well, what evidence do you have? Because if you don't have any evidence, I'm not going to believe this. Or I may mention something else and the question will come up, well, what, what evidence do you have? What do you have to back that up? And you know what? It's a valid and it's a legitimate question. We need to be able to support what we believe with evidence. But so do they. It goes both ways. And to make these kind of claims, there better be some really good evidence to support it. John Locke, who I don't see eye to eye with on har almost anything, on this I agree. He said the, that, that, that the mark of a rational person is not entertaining any proposition with greater assurance than the proof it is built upon will warrant. Unless there's a good, solid backing for what is being proposed, we should not entertain that as a belief. David Hume, the skeptic, said a wise man proportions his beliefs to the evidence. The more evidence, the stronger the belief. The less evidence, the weaker the belief. W.K. Clifford said it is wrong always everywhere and for anyone to believe anything upon insufficient evidence. I'm not sure I totally agree with that, but I can tell you this, evidence is important. So what's, what's the evidence they have? Now, I could stand here and tell, well, they don't have a shred of evidence. And you say, well, that's kind of convenient that you would say that. Let me let them tell you. Listen, let's start with Alexander Vilenkin. Listen to him talk about how much evidence they have for this idea that the universe spontaneously created itself out of nothing. Of course, if you ask, is there evidence that the universe began by this spontaneous nucleation out of nothing, I don't think we can produce any evidence for that. I don't think we can produce any evidence for that. Not a little bit, not some. I don't think we can produce any evidence. In other words, I'm here telling you that the universe could have spontaneously created itself out of nothing. Lawrence Krauss is out there telling you that entire universes pop into existence out of nothing. But where's the evidence? Well, we don't have any. Wait, so is this science or is this faith? 